ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, I always said this government shutdown would eventually trickle down into the public. There's no way you're not going to feel the impacts of this, even if you're not a government worker or even involved with the government in many ways. Now the articles are finally hitting in shutdown. IRS will take your money, but no refunds. This came out January 3rd, 2019, the Wall Street Journal. Here's another article. So the articles are coming out. Um, this is Vox, January 2nd, 2019, how the government shutdown will affect tax returns and refunds. You should be able to file a tax return, but don't expect those refunds as long as the uh, shutdown drags on. So yes, it is going to impact everything, ladies and gentlemen, you know, and you must understand these things are going to happen. So we know the partial shutdown, I believe this is day 13, either 13 or 14, somewhere around there. And Trump refused to sign any spending deal that does not include his $5 billion wall. And we know what the Democrats are presenting does not include any wall funding. But as Americans start to think about filing their taxes, they may wonder, how will this affect tax returns and refunds? Yeah, short version. If the federal government shut down, it, it, you know, we don't know how much longer this is going to last because Trump has already said it's going to be a long one. So <laughs> please define long one because <laughs> it has dragged on all this time now. So um, there should be a, a noticeable effect on your tax refund or any other processing. Well, they're saying there shouldn't, you know, I know it's really early now and most people don't even have their um, W-2s, but who knows how this is going to end? You know, it, it does not look good. Every time I pick up articles on the shutdown, it does not look good. You know, they are still at a stalemate. And it just seems like both sides are not budging. But I think if this drags on long enough, I believe it's going to be a lot of screaming from the public to resolve this damn thing. But if the shutdown drags on longer, there could be delays and other serious problems at the IRS. For one, the IRS contingency plan only explains the agency would handle the first five business days through December 31st of the shutdown. As a shutdown lasts longer, the agency will have to rework its plan and head into more uncertain territory that could demand, for example, that agency employees show up to work without pay. <laughs> the long version, as part of the government shutdown, the IRS planned to keep 12.5% of its workforce or fewer than 10,000 federal employees working. Tens of thousands of other IRS workers are furloughed. So there's no longer pay or expected to show up for work for the time being. So in other words, they have like a skeletal crew working. But as Political reported that the change as uh, tax filing season began, some workers could get back and be expected to work without pay, at least until they get back pay once the government reopens. The remaining workers and those called back without pay will let the IRS continue some operations in short term, particularly functions that are automatic and require limited to no workers and those deemed necessary for the safety of human life or protection of government property. Some examples, processing electronic returns, processing returns with payments, 
mailing, tax forms, appeals, criminal law enforcement and investigations, and technical work to make sure computer systems remain up and running. So taxpayers will be able to mail in returns or submit them online, even if the shutdown stretches into March. But depending on how long the shutdown lasts, there could be some problems. So you can submit it. <laughs> They're saying you can submit this, but don't expect a refund. First, tax refunds won't be issued, although filing season starts in January. The IRS typically takes a few weeks to start getting refunds out. So if the shutdown ends soon, there shouldn't be a big impact on 2018 tax refunds. If the shutdown lasts beyond the first few weeks of January, expect at least some delay on the refunds since, after all, the government is running out of cash. One group that could be affected, those still waiting on tax refunds from before 2018, as long as the government remains closed down, don't expect to get that money. Meanwhile, the IRS will also stop several other functions, audits, return examinations, non-automated collections, and 1040X processing, among other operations. For the list of full, um, for a full list, read the IRS contingency plan. Okay, so I guess that's here. Okay, yeah, it's a PDF. So what I will do, I will leave the link to the PDF in the description box. So if you want to read their contingency plan, you can. Um, so look, we already know this first week, there is not going to be any government opening up. We're already more than halfway through the week. We're at the very end. So no. So if it goes on through next week and the following week, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to be waiting forever for your refund. You should know that. This is how the IRS functions. They're not going to issue anything. So I guess they feel if they don't get paid, you won't get paid. They don't have any money. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this government is a mess. The way this whole system is ran is a hot mess. Three shutdowns in one year, y'all. Three in one year. That is really pathetic. And it just go to show you, America has many divisions, not only on the social level within the government too. You know, this is what I'm talking about when I say you let your enemies see your weakness. And your weakness is the fact that Americans put all of their news out around the world showing that people from within, whether it's politicians or not, just simply don't get along at all in this country. And that's the reason why it is a very poorly ran country. There's no unity. There is always infighting. There's divisions racially. There's divisions among the sexes. It, it, it is just no unity. You don't live up to your name at all. I'm not surprised about this shutdown, and I won't be surprised when the next one come and the next one and the next one. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to sit, uh, hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.